welcome back. Cooking with Michelle. Today we're going to make English muffin pizzas. I got English muffins here and I actually got these to make for my grandkids. They were going to make their own but due to everything that's going on they are isolated in their house. Self-isolation and we are self-isolating too. No grandkids so I thought I'd make these for my husband. What can go wrong, right? What can go wrong? English muffins are good. He likes English muffins. I like English muffins. All right, first what we're going to do is take them apart. Take our English muffins apart. Now I got these out of the freezer and defrosted them in the microwave. So the centers might be... And I don't know, do you guys know how to split an English muffin apart? Take a fork and you go all around the outside. And if you're lucky enough, voila, they come apart. So I'm going to put these down. Got another one. Take your fork, find the cut line, and just go all around with your fork. See? All around with your fork. I've been watching the, uh, I've been watching the news this morning, and I just watched Governor Cuomo from New York. I kind of like that man. He, he's kind of funny. English muffin. He's kind of funny. All the New York people are not staying in, and he's been warning them, lecturing them, you know, like they're his own little kids. Showed pictures of the peoples in the, peop the people, the people in the parks, people in New York. Come on, stay in your house. I know it, you hate it, but so do we. English muffin tore apart. All right, then I have a cookie sheet down here. Cookie sheet. I put them on a cookie sheet, and what we're gonna do next is. My dog is down here eating whatever I drop. So what we're gonna do next is take our pizza sauce. Pizza sauce, I have pizza sauce here. Got this from Aldi's. I have a couple cans of this pizza sauce because I like to dip in pizza sauce when I eat. So we're gonna take a spoonful of pizza sauce, put it on the English muffin. Let me show you down here, see? On the English muffin. Probably add a little more to that. And we're going to do that to every one. Every one. I'm in Ohio and I look for Ohio to just kind of lock down today. I don't know. Maybe. But we're prepared. We're ready. My whole family's prepared and we're all ready. What about you? Are you ready? Where do you live? Comment below. Where do you live? Let me know. Let me know. And if you're ready. And if anybody in your area hoarded anything. Or if you got anything. Oh, that one might have a little bit too much pizza sauce, but that's okay. I went to Aldi's and they had steaks on sale. And they had tons of them. And they kept putting them out and putting them out. And the lady, the clerk at Aldi's said have a lot of these. Let me fix my camera because I'm having to squash over like this. It's not comfortable. They have a lot of them so I bought a couple of those and put those in the freezer. And chicken. All right all of them are they all have sauce on them now. This is a quick and easy lunch. Something your kids can do. Something now I have pepperoni. Pepperoni. And I'm going to put pepperoni on all of these because who doesn't like pepperoni? And I got enough English muffins and four. We'll go with four on each. I got enough English muffins and sauce to make these a couple times if I have to. Or we could just have pepperoni sandwiches if we can find bread. I might have to make bread. We do have some bread in the freezer. I don't, I don't know about you, but I, I'm kind of like, I sleep good, kind of, I'm sleeping better. Yesterday I got up at 9.30. I felt good after that. Getting a lot of stuff to there. I'll squish down some more. Getting a lot of stuff done. Am I boring you yet? I'll show you this in a minute after I put all the pepperoni on it. And if I wasn't filming this, I would be eating the pepperoni as I did it. 
but okay, pepperoni. We got the pepperoni. See? Now we're gonna add mozzarella cheese. I've had this mozzarella cheese. I used it on something else. I think I made lasagna rolls and I used it there. I have my oven preheating to like 400 right now. I don't know about you. Do you guys wait for your oven to preheat? I don't. So we're gonna put cheese on these, probably that much. Let me show you. There you go, cheese on these. I got these cookie sheets from Home Shopping Network a couple years ago. Three different sizes, non-stick, I love them. They actually work. Let me show you something, my dog, my dog. Can you see my dog down there? Waiting for me to drop something. Yesterday I dropped a pepper when I was cutting peppers to make a salad. The dog didn't want any part of that. Nope. Didn't want any part of that. These are almost done. Look how easy this is. My husband's home. He's actually in the living room waiting for me to finish this. He's been cleaning out the garage. Those of you that have seen my garage know why he needs to clean it out. When we moved into this house two years ago or so everything went in the garage because he tore all this kitchen out all of it it was gutted down to the studs and he replaced everything in here for me got new cabinets new appliances new everything oh and he built this big closet for me too with a cool door hold on let me show you the door he put a barn door on it I like it and we're going to put a door on the bathroom too. We're going to, when we redo the bathroom, the same door is going to go on the bathroom. And the bathroom might be this winter project. That's going to get gutted too. I might have to pee in the front yard if I don't get a toilet put in quickly. Or bathe with the hose. I don't know. All right, let's go put these in the oven. It did beep. It did beep. So here we go. There we go. See? Put them in the oven. There's my dog. Put them in the oven. In the oven, see? All right, I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes and check them. And I'll get back with you. I checked them at 10 minutes and they weren't quite done. So this has been 15 minutes on 400. There they are. The cheese. And they look like they're done to me. And so let's get them out of here. See all the burnt on that pan? With these pans, this it comes right off. I mean, it, it does. It comes right, right off. Okay. To shut my oven off because I forget to do that. And my husband will be going to bed and he'll say, um, do you need the oven on for something? Um, no, you could just shut it off. I'm done with it. Turn that off. But anyway, there you go. There you go. Something your kids can make, something that's easy. You know, give your kids something to do. It can be like their um, home ec class. There you go. Home ec class. Right here. Right here. Home ec class. All right. I will see you in my next video. Who knows what I'm going to film next? Bye. What she said, what don't she know the more? Then the bell, then the bond, when we pose, oh, what she said, what don't she know?